Hi, my beautiful family. In this video today, I'm going to try to solve a problem that I have. I love my lips. It's something that I really love about myself, self, my lips, but I always want to make them look plumpier and juicier. Um, they are not really even. My upper lips is uh, not really even on both sides and I really have a hard time to make them look perfect. Doesn't mean that I have to, but it's just fun. And I did try a couple of times to kind of um, make them bigger using lipstick and uh, lip liner pen, but I didn't succeed. I look like a duck. I don't want to put anything on my lips. I don't like the idea of using um, the, of making the lips bigger with injections or something like that. I don't like that. I like playing with makeup to make them look a little bit bigger and more plump. So, I can't do that. I kind of, uh, I'm very bad at making my lips look bigger. And if you, you overdraw, and I can't overdraw. If I do that, I look like a duck. Doesn't look good, I look crazy. And today, I'm going to try and follow Nikia Joy's video where she goes in details, explaining how to make your lips look bigger with lipstick and lip band. So I'm going to try that. Pray for me, do this with me, and let's go into the video. So I'm going to insert her video up here. So we're going to watch it together and I'm going to try to recreate that look. Though I'll see which lipstick I'm going to use. I want to use a dark one. I'm going to use this one from Huda Beauty Payday and we're going to use another lip pen and we're going to use a lip pen from Essence in shade, what shade, never too late. Okay, so let's try this together. Welcome to another makeup quick tips and tricks video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to overline your lips to make them look bigger, but without ending up looking like swollen duck face. Um, there's certainly ways to do this and ways to not do this. And it's very, very easy to do it in a way that just does not look natural at all. The idea of overlining and overdrawing the lips is to give a really subtle boost in volume to increase the size of the lips, but without it being obvious or noticeable. So yes, if you are interested in learning about that then please stick around and as always if you are new here to my channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell um, I upload three videos a week and we would love to have you as part of the family all right guys let's jump into learning how to overline the lips all right so to make sure that this makes as most sense as possible I'm going to show you uh, the mistake that pretty much everybody makes that just makes them look like duck faced instantly and that is overlining the entire border of your lips so see here I've overlined the yeah, and this is the mistake I do. I overline the whole lip and I look crazy. <laughs> so let's continue and see. Cupid's bow, the sides of my mouth, the bottom of my lips, both of the outer corners, I've just overlined the entire area. And what that results in is it gives the lips a really blown out, fake, swollen kind of a look. And Sorry, I'm trying to put my phone up here so I see what she's doing, but it's not really the easiest thing. So, okay, let's continue. It becomes very, very obvious that you've actually overlined your lips. Um, this is essentially what you want to avoid. Don't just sort of go in and think, okay, right, I'm going to go in and overline the entire lip area, the entire lip border. Um, there's very specific ways to do this to make it look really super natural. And the problem is amplified further when you add a lipstick with a little bit of a sheen to it. Like, look how crazy my lips look. It is so obvious that I've overlined them. This is what you want to avoid. This is not you know, the kind of look that we are going for. So what we do actually want to do is only overline certain areas of the lips. So first up to start with, you want to make sure that you've got dry, clean lips. Make sure that they are freshly exfoliated. Um, it's just a much easier, much more smooth surface to work on. So taking a lip liner in any color, and I've just chosen a deeper color um, for this video so that you can see everything really, really well. What I want you to do first is focus on the middle section. Okay. Okay, so let's zoom in just so you can see better what I'm doing. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I just switched the lipstick. I want to use something more shimmery. I'm going to use this from Colorage 488 from L'Oreal, I think it is. Is it? Yeah. 
L'Oreal. Let's see. Okay, so slightly. of the lower lip and taking that lip liner I want you to directly overline that middle section that I went a little bit too far I don't know yeah so I want the line to still touch the vermilion border which is where your lips meet your skin like the skin on the rest of your face but I want you to like very quite prominently overline that and hopefully Continue. you guys can see here how much lower that line is than the natural border of my lips and also when my mouth is relaxed you can see already the massive difference that that makes in the volume and the plumpness of my lower lip so yeah just overline that middle section directly Then moving up to the top lip, you want to do exactly the same thing only on the cupid's bow area. Now a really, really easy way to overline the cupid's bow and to get it perfect and symmetrical is to draw a big cross in the center of the lips and then over... Wait, wait, just two points. Okay, wait. This is so hard. She makes it look so easy. This is not as creamy as I wish it was. But we're going to work with it. Okay. So all like this and this. Oh, I messed up. Okay. I look crazy, but let's continue washing. Overline just those two points. So probably the middle third of the lips, you want to have that lip overlined. And then anywhere else on the lip, what we're going to do is actually connect those lines with the natural lip border to get the most natural effect. So taking the same lip pencil, I'm tracing the external border of my lip there. And you can see sort of how much further away than that overlined section on the center of the lip is. And then you just carefully want to match the two up. Just go over it little bit by little bit until those two lines do match. And it's got sort of like a nice curve to it and you know there's not like a jagged edge and then you want to do the same thing on the top lip so trace the exact yeah. lip line so no overlining yeah, at all yeah, in the yeah. outer corner trace it up and join the overlined portion of the top of the lip same on the other corner of the bottom lip so following the natural yeah. lip line and then attaching yeah. it and connecting it to the overlined line section in the center and then doing the same on the outer corner now already by doing this you're going to make your lips look so much bigger so much plumper and just literally look like you've had fillers when you have not had to touch a needle and like that stuff is painful you do not want to have to do that if you can avoid it so see how already my lips look so much plumper so much bigger I'm then going to go ahead and fill in the entire okay so she's going to fill on me okay every lip entire lip higher surface of my lip like I said you can do this with any color and as you can see my lips look really dry. full really plump they look like they've got so much more volume than we began with and then the second thing that I recommend is tracing over the top of that lip liner with a lipstick that has a bit of a sheen a bit of a shine I hope this works I mean, I really look crazy. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Yeah, your lips do, do but not mine. Just something that's going to catch and reflect the light because it will make your lips look so much more voluminous, so much plumper and so much bigger. There is a massive difference in how my lips are looking with this simple, easy technique in comparison to how they are when they're natural and they don't have any makeup on them at all. So I hope today's video was helpful. It's just a really quick, simple, easy tip and all you need is a lip liner to do it, which I'm sure most of you already have. So any more questions, pop them down below. Okay, so how do my lips look? I feel like it doesn't look as doesn't look good. I feel like 
I didn't succeed at all making my lips look bigger, but did I? Do I look like a duck or do it, does it look okay? Does it look nice? Her lips look amazing in that video, but my lips look so crazy right now. I don't know, did I succeed? I overlined a little bit up here and down here. It looks okay, does it look... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Please let me know down below what you think about this. I, I really love following these kind of videos to see if it's going if it's that easy as they make it as they make it to be look like it's very easy um, because we learn together M makeup is amazing you can play with it you can create some amazing things and you can reshape your whole face with a little bit uh, with some makeup and it can look so much different but I really wanted to try and follow this video because it looked very easy, it looks very interesting and it's something I have problem with, problems with. Right now, after looking at myself a couple of minutes, I feel like it looks okay. It looks like my lips are a little bit bigger and plumpier. I don't know, but you have to tell me. And maybe I can see it by myself, I can see it myself when I put this video together. But so far, I don't know. Do I like it? Do I hate it? Is it okay? It was fun. This video was fun. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I always forget to say that in the beginning. Not so many of you watch my videos, the whole videos. So some of you watch a couple of mi seconds, couple of minutes. Uh, but the, all of you that watches the whole videos, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I love you all. And I hope I see you in my next video. So see you soon. Bye.